Uh, so this question comes from unknown account. Um, I recently started watching your videos and they're very good and useful. I'm learning CompTIA exams and I have a question about network or how to change the public IP address from the ISP. Is there any chance to change the MAC address from NIC or something? I try to change in properties, also in registry, but I think that's old stuff and not working anymore. Or if I buy an inexpensive router with another MAC address, whether to change the IP address. Um... Basically, if you want to change your IP address uh, from like your internet service provider, realistically the best way is to call them up on the phone and say, hey, you need your IP address changed. Um, you really should not have to change your IP address very often. Um, it's just kind of one of those things. If you have a dynamic IP address, it, you get reassigned it every once in a while, um, and it doesn't really matter. So I'm not really sure why you want a new IP address unless you've been doing something stupid. You've been doing something really, really, really stupid. Um, as far as changing your MAC address goes, uh, generally you stay away from changing your MAC address. Um, there's no, there's, there are very few reasons why you ever want to change your MAC address. So the MAC address is generally, it's considered a hard-coded uh, identifier um, on your computer, on your network card. And basically it's a unique identifier so your network knows each individual network device or network card on your network. Um, so it's unique, unlike an IP address. So IP addresses get, uh, you know, they get recycled, they get reused, but the network needs to know, how do I know individual network cards on the network? And so that's what your MAC address is. And generally, essentially, it's hard-coded. Now, now normally, um, there's no reason to change your MAC address. Like, in all my years, all my years, I've changed, like, a MAC address, like, three times. Um, and the only reason you change your MAC address is if um, your network has something called uh, MAC address filtering built into it. So one of the things you can do for hacking purposes, uh, for anti-hacking, for security purposes, is you can say only these certain MAC addresses are allowed to use the network. So if somebody else tries to connect to the network, connects to the switch with their computer, when they try to pull an IP address, when they try to use the network, it simply won't work. When, when their MAC address is registered uh, on the network, the, the, it will not match those other MAC addresses, the MAC addresses that are supposed to be there, and so essentially they get shut out of the network. MAC address filtering is a great thing to think about if you're dealing with a relatively small network. Uh, MAC address filtering was big, um, especially like here for Comcast internet, so for cable internet, because what they did is they used MAC address filtering um, as a way to secure uh, the cable internet connection. So they plugged a MAC address into their system. If the MAC address was in their system, you were able to use the cable internet at whatever speed you purchased. If not, you weren't. So um, back in the day, a lot of people purchased their own cable modems because you could buy better cable modems than what they gave you. And so what you would do is all you would do is you would figure out the MAC address of the original cable modem. Then you go to the cable modem you purchased and there was a screen you could open up where it was change the MAC address. And so you would change the MAC address of that new modem from what it is to what the other one was, you plug into the network, it registers, and you're doing A-OK. -okay. So really, especially for you guys, things like uh, cable internet connections are about really the only times you deal with MAC addresses. If you want to change your MAC address, um, there's instructions everywhere. Um, uh, basically, on your router itself to change the MAC address, there should be some, I mean, again, there's a thousand different routers out there. So you just go in, do a Google search on your particular model. But you go in, there should be a tab or a button or something that allows you, you click on that and you change that WAN IP uh, MAC address. Um, and you can do that there. As far as with Mac or Windows or any of that kind of stuff, uh, it depends on whether the, the network driver, the network card driver allows you to change the MAC address. If it does in Windows, again, you just do a simple Google search and it'll show you how to do it. In Mac, it's a little bit more complicated, uh, but you can do it. Um, so that's how you would change a Mac address. But I don't think that's going to get you a new IP address. I don't think that, well, maybe. I don't know. But I don't really know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Boy, what the hell are you doing? Um, 
So if you really want to change your IP address, I would say simply call your ISP and they should be able to give you a new IP address. Um, if, you, if you purchase a static IP address, they should be able to swap that out relatively easily. Um, and again, even with a dynamic one, um, they, sh they should be able to give you a new one. Uh, but again, the, the question kind of comes to like, why? 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 Because you only really need a new WAN IP address is if, if you did something stupid. <laughs> so the best thing is don't do anything stupid, right? Um, so that would be my, my thoughts on the issue. Um, yeah, you can change the MAC address again. Just You can just do a simple Google search for whatever, and, and it'll show you how to do it. Uh, but again, you also need a legitimate MAC address. Um, I, I don't even know. Like, I couldn't pull a MAC address out of my ass. I mean, that's the other thing to think about. Like, when you start screwing with MAC addresses, like, like with IP addresses, if I put a static one in, I know to put 192.168.1.50, and I know that'll work. Um, if, if, you don't, if you don't know what MAC address you're trying to put in, like, um, basically, you have to find a network card. You have to find a MAC address that will actually work, and then you get into an even bigger issue. See, so that's why, like, spoofing or cloning a MAC address makes sense. So I have one device... I know what the MAC address of this device is, so I'm simply going to take the MAC address and put it on this other device and then turn the first one off, right? Because I'm using that MAC address. But like just, just pulling one like whole cloth, I'm not even sure how you would do that. Um, and then that's the other thing too, is remember with MAC addresses, you definitely do not want two, Mac, two of the same MAC address on a network. That can cause all kinds of wacky ass problems really quick. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what you're doing here. <laughs> I'm not, it's not, like the more I answer this, the more I'm like, eh, how, how about you stop doing something stupid? I have a feeling you're doing something obnoxiously stupid and you should probably stop. Um, but barring that, your, your best bet is just call your ISP and they should be able to deal with it.